Are you designing a website and wondering what fonts are trending? Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm excited today to be talking about the best Google fonts to use. Like everything else in graphic design and web development, fonts often depend on what is popular. I'll walk you through some of the best recent trends. Let's jump right in. The number of fonts available in Google make finding something new to use an easy task, but picking the right font can still be daunting. The following fonts and combinations are ones that are the standout stars. You should definitely try them on your next project. Fonts come in sizes both big and small. When it comes to headings, especially large headings are the in thing. Instead of using plain fonts like Helvetica, serif fonts are more appealing in today's world. They become more and more popular as they provide an elegance and sleekness to the design. Fonts like Playfair Display and Railway are great picks for today's headings. Bold italics in Playfair Display can give an oversized heading some pizzazz. Railway is a sans serif font, but it is much more customized and concise when compared to other sans serifs. Here we see Railway with Playfair Display as the heading. Massive sans serif fonts are currently dominating web design. To increase the massiveness, a trick designers are using is writing headings in all caps. A good example of this would be Rubik Mono 1. It is only available as an uppercase font. The boldness of this font is slightly downplayed by its slightly rounded edges. You can add gradients or background graphics inside these massive fonts. For the running text, a complementary font would be another sans serif, maybe the classic Open Sans. If you don't love Rubik Mono 1, there is the Anton font, which looks even more massive due to its slim tracking and thin line width. The font leaves little white space so you can add background graphics or detailed images instead of changing the font color. Another trend is Handicraft. Not only is this a trend in fonts, but in many areas around us. Think about the craft beer and other types of similar products. In terms of typography, this trend can be seen in fonts that have a handwritten flair. The Titan 1, for example, is a sans serif font with a handwritten feel because of its curves and different stroke widths. If you want to enter even further into the handwritten styles, try Pacifico. It is an actual handwritten font. It has a thick stroke that makes it suitable for headings. To complement both, you can use the Open Sans font for the running texts. Another font you might consider for running text is Amaranth, which looks like handwriting, but it can easily be read in all four classic versions. The best Google fonts don't always have to be fancy or big. Sometimes a modest font is just what you are looking for. You don't have to rely on classics like Arial or Helvetica, but you also do not have to rely on trendy fonts like Roboto and Open Sans either. The Work Sans font, which is available from thin to black, is simple yet fresh and modern. It is also easy to read and can look good very large or very small. The Nunito font covers everything from thin to black in 14 different versions. It has rounded edges that give the font a very slick look. This look also makes it very easy to read. If you really wanted those rounded edges to stick out, it can be used as a heading. Society always wants to reinterpret popular things. Think about quotes that you have heard time and time again. The same holds true for fonts. If you like something classical, you will also enjoy Vida Loca. This font is similar to the Bodoni font, which was a classic font from the 19th century. However, it is less stiff. It has that contrasting stroke width that the fonts from that time are known for. The Pure One font looks similar to the Art Deco style. It has subtle lines, curves, and the slightly tilted horizontals that give off both a playful and elegant vibe at the same time. There is no lack in the variety of fonts available. Finding the right font still takes some thought and a little trial and error. The trends we talked about today were big headings with serifs, massive sans serif yet playful fonts, sans serifs with handwritten flair, solid sans serif fonts beyond open sans, and a tribute to popular styles such as classicism and art deco. Fonts have become as important as the rest of the objects on the page. It will be interesting to see this year's designs. I'm sure new fonts will add even more to our ever-growing selection. Thanks for joining me. I'm Alex. Until next time.